It's a bad scene for a lot of the kids up here, eh? What's being done? Nothing that works. Sports. It's worth a shot, isn't it? What have you got to lose? Whatever's left. My name is Miranda Depensier, and I'm the director and a producer of The Grizzlies. The Grizzlies is an inspiring true story about a group of kids in a small Arctic community who are struggling because of the legacy of colonialism. He's a residential school survivor. I wish I could help him, but I don't know what to do. The youth don't know how to express the pain that they've witnessed and the trauma that they've witnessed. And a lot of students resort to night culture and alcoholism and suicide. They're going through a time in their community, community that was plagued by uh, the highest suicide rates in North America at the time. Jason Midovic. He's not coming back. Trump in. I was gutted when I first saw an ESPN news piece about the Kukluk Tuk Grizzlies. They were a group of kids that were struggling with issues that I couldn't have imagined in a country like Canada. Adam Kickpack, the real Adam, said, I need to tell you how much this lacrosse program totally changed my life. He said I was an alcoholic and I was a drug addict until that lacrosse stick went into my hand. And he was 13. So it literally saved his life. Russ Shepard always said that those kids changed him more than he changed them. That's not a line, that's the truth. He was a catalyst for something, but they were the ones that had to go from really challenged lives to success. Broken promises are dangerous here. You know what happens when these kids are hurt and disappointed? You don't want them reaching for something that they care about? There's a cost for reaching. The kids give Russ a chance. As they give him a chance, they start to teach him. And as they start to teach him, he starts to change. The Miranda in the Grizzlies is very much representative of the real Miranda. She and Russ really formed a bond. Spring is very sweet. She's very strong. She's very powerful. And she's very determined. Spring, what are you doing here? Same as you. A girl? Uh, no way. <laughs> way. Zach's character, he's going through a, a bunch of problems with his family, you know, junkard parents. They're really not taking care of the kids. You hungry? There's a lot of trauma in a lot of people in the North still. You know, we really screwed up as a government. We really treated our indigenous people like crap. It's gonna take a long time to fix that. And we're just starting to have the conversation. Haven't you figured out yet that I don't know what the hell I'm doing? So you get our hopes up change things, and then you walk away? It's not that simple. Looks pretty simple to me. You know, I've always wanted films like this to come out of Nunavut. Our hardships are finally being exposed. We've been dealing with this stuff for years and we're still here. You get knocked down one time and you're gonna run away? This is not about you. The Grizzlies, though it does highlight a lot of negative things. It embodies the power of Inuit people, the power of indigenous people when they band together to overcome their traumas. There's a lot of emotions in it, you know, there's a lot of sadness and whatnot, but in the end, it's a feel-good story about a young group of rascals who, who, you know, overcome their obstacles through perseverance and teamwork and love for each other and for themselves especially, and they played with cross. It's not just a movie. It really is a beacon of hope. There was a moment where we had a circle and one of the young men said that he had lost his best friend, his girlfriend, his cousin, and the entire front lineup of his hockey team to suicide. And then I witnessed every kid begin to tell a story about how suicide had affected them and the kinds of challenges they were dealing with in their homes. And then I watched one of them stand up, get into the middle and say, look to your right, look to your left. Next to you is someone who can understand and they all joined arms and then started screaming, new start, new start. I watched these kids share their trauma and then heal themselves. It was one of the most profound things I've ever experienced in my life. We ended up taking the idea of that circle and putting it into the film. Each of us has had it tough, real tough. But we're a family now. Our team, we made our own family. And we got each other no matter what. 
So much of that community that I've met are reclaiming their culture, their way of life, their language, their tattoos. So I have a lot of hope for the future and I think we should just stand back and watch the wave from the north because it's beautiful and awesome and it's gonna wow us all. I say we stay strong. We do what we came together to do. What we trained for. We play.